Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, in the oasis of freedom on this absolutely gorgeous Saturday. What day is it today? December 26th? I don't know. Somewhere Saturday, December maybe 25th. I don't know. Anyway, uh, just another day winding up the last week here in the uh, collapse of global industrial civilization for the year 2021 and we're already getting 2021 roundup so I was actually going to take the day off for whatever reason uh, I was not planning to come on here with my hopium roundup uh, I didn't want to go through you know cobbling together seven or eight stories but I open up the mainstream media the mainstream media uh, and the number three biggest story on the planet today it is USA Today doing my job for me as we start all of the various uh, you know roundups of all of the various ecological catastrophes and, uh, and economic breakdowns and floods and wildfires and famines and tipping points tipping over and you know before we start all of those roundups we're going to start off to share this uh, whatever this special day is uh, we're going to let USA Today and Yahoo News bring us today's uh, hopium roundup looking back over 2021 <clears throat> from daring rescues to medical breakthroughs here are 12 of the happiest stories the happiest stories of 2021 yes Finding uplifting news stories in a year marked by the continuing corona panic, the perilous evacuation of U.S. citizens and troops from Afghanistan, devastating mass shootings, and an unprecedented attack on the U.S. Capitol may prove difficult. But alongside the challenges the country faced in 2021 were tales of perseverance, bravery, and the will to survive. Scientific breakthroughs were made. Endangered species endured. How many species were officially declared extinct? Uh, this year was it 23? I believe of our fellow worthlings were officially declared extinct. But don't worry, endangered species endured, and everyday people became superheroes. Yes, the multitude of stories that inspired us to keep going through these trying times are too many to count. Here are just 12 of the best to end the year on a high note. And I'm going to get a little bit out of order here, guys, because uh, I, uh, my battery might shut down and you might be projectile vomiting if I went through the order they chose. So we're going to mix up the order a little bit here. And let's start, although it said our country, I guess it means our planet. We're going to start with this story. Great Barrier Reef spawns color, shows recovery from damage. Yes. In November, scientists recorded the, the corals 
of Australia's Great Barrier, Barrier Reef fertilize billions of offspring by casting sperm and eggs into the Pacific Ocean, a sign of recovery from years of coral bleaching caused by unusually warm ocean temperatures. Two-thirds of the 134,000 square miles of 2,500 reefs was damaged by bleaching. Gareth Phillips, a marine scientist with Reef Teach, a tourism and educational business, said it was gratifying to see the reef give birth. Quote, it is a strong demonstration that its ecological functions are intact and working. Yes, after being in a recovery phase for more than 18 months, he said. There you go. So I'll uh, go right on to sleep. The Great Barrier Reef is, what did this uh, guy say? The Great Barrier Reef's ecological functions are intact and working. There you go. Hallelujah. Hats off to the Great Barrier Reef, and it's a damn good thing that we are never going to see any more coral bleaching in the Great Barrier Reef or anywhere else on the planet. So uh, you heard it right here on Collapse Chronicles. And of course, somehow I have been biting my tongue uh, many versions of this story. <clears throat> Western monarch butterflies make sudden comeback, make sudden comeback after numbers dwindle. <clears throat> the Western monarch butterfly is back. Yes, to the relief of scientists. An abundance of the fluttering insects is often a good indicator of ecosystem health, but the number wintering along California's central coast hit an all-time low last year, meaning 2020. Experts say climate change, habitat destruction, and lack of food due to drought are to blame. But an annual winter count by the Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation found an estimated 50,000 monarchs at overwintering sites in November compared to fewer than 2,000 last year. So in uh, 2020, there were 2,000. 2021, there were 50,000. So it sounds just like the Great Barrier Reef. It's recovered. But then we hear from Serena Jepson, director of endangered species at the Xerxes Society, said, quote, this is certainly not a recovery. This is one of the good news stories. This is certainly <coughs> not a recovery, but we're really optimistic and just really glad that there are monarchs here and that gives us a bit of time to work toward recovery of the Western monarch migration, close quote. Now, so of course, what she meant by this is certainly not a recovery. Okay, so this year, 50,000 monarchs, 25 times as many monarchs as last year. But of course, if you went back to, I'm guessing, uh, around 20 years ago, the, the, the 2000 uh, monarch survey, there were more than one million monarchs. Okay, 20 years ago, one million. This year, 50,000. 
I think if my if my fourth grade math is correct, fifty thousand is five percent of one million. So, in other words, if you uh, if you stretch the baseline out. Uh, for 20 years instead of one year, you will see a 95% collapse of the uh, of the monarch of the Western monarch butterfly population. So this is the definition of a good news story. Okay, in 2021, the definition of good news in 2021 is there has been a 95% collapse in the monarch butterfly population in the last 20 years. Do you understand what good news means in the year 2021? And okay, and we're just going to run through the headlines uh, in a little bit. Uh, so this is actually the number one story of 20, the number one feel-good story of 2021, according to USA Today. Woman celebrates 100th birthday with her two older sisters. Yes. All right. Arizona man and grandmother continue Thanksgiving tradition that started with a text to the wrong number. Yes, the number two feel-good story of the year. I love the number three. 13-year-old starts first day of classes at Georgia Tech University. Yes, he is Caleb Anderson, a 13-year-old aerospace engineering hopeful. He was accepted at the age of 12. After graduating, Anderson says he wants to pursue a career at SpaceX. I bet the young man does. Uh, if I was 13 years old, uh, I would be uh, pursuing a career to get my ass to Mars. Smart young man here. Yes, teaming up with uh, Elon Musk, I guess, to get his ass to Mars. Could you imagine being 13? But, uh, okay, next. 105-year-old woman sets world record in 100-meter dash. Okay, Julia Hurricane Hawkins, age 105, finished the 100-meter dash in just over one minute. I, I, a lot of my friends, one half of Hurricane Hawkins' uh, age, could not uh, waddle 100 meters in one minute uh, if a crocodile was chasing them. I love it. Right here in the title, women's immune system possibly cured her of HIV. You know, where even in a, even in the third biggest story uh, on the planet in Yahoo News, inside uh, USA Today, in a headline, they they do not understand the difference between the singular and the plural of the word woman. It, it is unbelievable uh, how often you see this. You don't see it happening with man and men very often. But uh, I mean, it's all over pile of fish dating service uh, where women you know, one woman calling herself a woman all the time. The, uh, you, you know, just the, the most basic uh, grammar in, in the year 2021. I, I mean, grammar, just your basic King's English uh, has gone right down the toilet 
uh, this year and every year for the past 50 years anyway. Uh, then we finally get to that bullshit about the monarch butterflies. All right. High school student nearly misses graduating until a teacher lent his shoes. Yes, he wanted uh, to graduate barefooted and uh, was pretty much uh, expelled uh, for being such a, you, you know, going against the custom. So the teacher uh, lent the dude uh, her shoes. I remember I was expelled from Fernbank Elementary School uh, the day of graduation. Uh, I was expelled by uh, Principal Frank Sargent was his name. Calvin Key, the principal at Fernbank Elementary, Calvin Key hung himself uh, by his necktie. Uh, in his office during the year. So they brought in this Marine uh, drill sergeant whose name literally was Frank Sargent. And so we were having our uh, practice graduation walking across the stage and he didn't like the way he accused me of clomping, clomping my boots. So with 15 minutes left in my seven year uh, elementary school education, I was expelled from school. Are you following me uh, long enough so I would miss my graduation? Uh, all right, next. Then they get to the uh, Great Barrier Reef shows recovery from damage. All right, we have new hope for type 1 diabetes patients. All right, I, I, I love, I, I, I don't know if this is unintended irony or not. Husband with Alzheimer's proposes to wife a second time. <laughs> yes. And of course, the obligatory missing dog saves family from house fire. Yes. All right, and the runners up that didn't quite make the top 12. Uh, man, the, the missing dog stories. Uh, I guess the missing dog, Tilly, thrown in car crash, found herding sheep on Idaho farm. So Tilly didn't quite make it to the top 12. A giant rubber duck mysteriously appeared in a main harbor with a message, joy. Yes. All right. And of course, uh, let's end with one more happy animal story. Giant tortoise thought to be extinct 112 years ago found on Galapagos Island. Let's see if this is the lone survivor. Uh, the search for a mate for a giant. The search is on for a mate for a giant tortoise thought to be extinct a century ago. Uh, so they found one female, uh, ancient female tortoise, and uh, they're trying to find one male Galapagos tortoise. So uh, again, the definition of good news that there is one female giant tortoise left in the Galapagos Islands. Anyway, guys, uh, well, that was certainly an easy hopium roundup. 
And now that I have uh, wrapped that up, let's see, what will we do next on this absolutely gorgeous, I think I'm going to go sunbathe and get my vitamin D3 while I still can. Bye, guys.